Hello friends, welcome to another new survival crafting game called Out of Reach. This just came out today, uh, I've been following it a little bit, um, backed it a while, a while back, pre-ordered it, uh, I finally dropped today, got my Steam key, so I just installed it. This is a first look, kind of uh, look at the game, we'll see what's going on. Um, it's your basic uh, survival crafting, you are a shipwreck, shipwrecked person on an archipelago of islands. Um, the islands are, I believe, procedurally generated. And uh, let's go ahead and go through some options. Just kind of see what we've got. Um, graphics. I do have everything set on max. Uh, advanced point lights. Whatever that is. Let's just turn it on. Let's, just, let's turn everything on and see what happens. Uh, audio. Let's just... Ocean volume. Let's try that. I have heard in um, some early, early uh, alpha uh, preview of the game that the ocean was a little loud, so, so I want to turn that down. All right, so let's go ahead and go into start. We can pick a server. Uh, obviously, it's very low population right now. Uh, this game is brand new. So let's go in here. Um, I don't necessarily want to play with other players. I'd rather be by myself. So let's go ahead and pick Riverview. And let's go ahead and connect to the server. Nickname. Enter our nickname. Who are we? We are Rongo. The. Can we space? We can. Bold. All right. Press Q to switch weapons at. Okay. Now, your basic machines, uh, basic controls are the same. Uh, the only difference is they have. So we're waking up on the shore here. Let's go ahead and rotate the camera around. Oh my god. New game. Hashtag tourist. It actually is a really pretty sun. Yeah. It's a really pretty skybox from what I've seen. Oh, I've got my rock. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. So let's very quickly hit escape. Let's go into the controls. Uh, building panel F5. Upgrading F6. Next panel tab. Waste building E. Okay. It's a very pretty well in depth um, uh, set of. Uh, building objects in the game right now and you have basically you've got your regular tiers you have wood and then stone uh, wood stone um, and metals there's brass you can make bronze etc not brass but you can make bronze you can mine um, copper and tin um, controls should be all your basic controls this actually doesn't give us very good control settings unless there's another oh there is a scroll right there Okay, so your regular WASDs, space, shift, you can crouch, uh, crouch, crouch and crouching, C and V, we'll have to see what, that, what those are. Fight controls, left mouse button, right mouse button, block, Q, change weapon, charge, F, okay. This is a PvP server type dealio, so we have to watch out for that. Um, so E to use, so your inventory, all your menus are your function keys. So everything's split up, I'm, I'll show you that in a moment here. Achievements, display HUD is F9. Uh, players online F11 chat T voice chat R okay billion pound okay so that's pretty much all of our stuff so let's go ahead and close that uh, what do we have for a tutorial be coming soon okay all right so like I mentioned oh uh, it's game shift to run like normal okay here's the C to crouch again and then Okay, V seems to, um, so C puts you into a crouch, V just puts you crouched. So, wow, that is a gorgeous sunset. Now the water itself, am I standing up again? Nope, I am walking. Now, can you go underwater? No. So there is no under the water, so that means we shouldn't be afraid of sharks, probably. Water is, is, eh. Not bad, but the sky, hashtag awesome, gorgeous. Now you do have a full day night cycle and we, we seem to have uh, landed here on this beach at nighttime. So let's go ahead and go through some of the other menus while we still have some light. F1 is your inventory. It is an inventory space, you know, kind of a origami type thing again. You can craft a backpack, give you more stuff, more storage. F2 is your character itself. No rotation of the character, but you can place your equipment that you get um, in here. Um, 
you get a reputation. So as you kill, if you kill someone, you basically you're at neutral. If you attack somebody, you will get a uh, bad reputation. And if you kill someone, you'll get even worse reputation. Now, if someone else who is neutral or a good reputation kills someone who's got a bad reputation, it doesn't hurt them. Um, it actually makes them good. So there is a built of incentive to not kill on site um, because you don't want to have a bad reputation because people then will get benefit to kill you. So hopefully, well, again, everyone is trying to find these ways of making open games um, without griefing be the instant thing. So uh, as our weapons, we our rock, and that's it in our offhand. Okay, um, let's go ahead and close these two. F3 is our player workshop. This is where we upgrade. This is where we can craft and upgrade everything. So you see armors, harness, which is basically your uh uh jack your your you know thingy uh skull mask awesome oh, i want one of those oh i want one of those big time leather pants leather shoes bronze boots bro so you got here's your leather and bronze uh weapons you get spear a bow and those are other bow as well uh, i think you've got like a yeah bone so you got bones you're like your second tier and you got steel bronze and a regular axe so wood linen rope stone when yet so that's probably the first thing we're going to get uh so our bow will be soon as well so we gotta make that um then we got arrows you got ballistas they have ballistas uh trebuchets in the game for for some major combat type things uh rope you can grab tools chip stone we got our ring our rock right here we can craft it down simple backpack which is a lot of flax this is 50 flax fibers quite a bit uh a torch fat which you get from animals. So in the game right now, there are um, gazelles. Uh, there are, um, um, sorry, rhinoceroses, which are aggressive, tigers that are aggressive, and a couple other animals as well. Now the animals themselves are fairly loud. Um, so boy, it's at nighttime, unfortunate. So what I'm gonna do just to save you guys from having to sit in a very dark game um, for a nighttime that's fairly long. I'm gonna go ahead and pause, and when I come back, it will be morning. All right, welcome back. I am, it's, it is coming on towards morning, so I decided to bring you back. There was, we do get a torch when you first start out, and I wanted to show you guys, oh, the bottom left-hand side, you've got your, basically your, your health, your stamina, and your food. So you see, if you're working hard, you're going to go through food a lot faster. If you're running, you're going to go through your stamina. You can see here it going really fast. Now, you're basically, one of the first things you're going to do, like in any crafting game, is you're going to smack a tree. Luckily, they give you a rock to do that with, so you can just get close to the tree. Some of these trees are hard to hit. Um, so you got a little round targeting reticle, and you can't hold down, hold down, kind of, holds the rock in position so you basically you're going to click a lot hopefully they'll change that uh, i think having the ability to just hold the button down will be a little better so once the tree is exhausted basically it'll fall over timber leaves a stump behind that'll be there for a little bit and then it'll get cold out uh, so it gets cleaned up pretty quickly now i've been uh gathering a bunch of wood so i have some you know wood supplies ready for you guys to see things now also in the game there are uh like i mentioned there's we do have metals we have uh copper and iron and tin um and you will find those in caves around uh the islands there's also boats you can make a boat so you can go from tr island to island on that boat the game itself runs really smoothly um i mean it's not the quality isn't super high or anything uh, it's a very kind of standard uh, looking terrain and environment. Uh, character movement seems a bit slow and sluggish, um, but it when you're running, it feels pretty good. Feels like actually like a realistic pace, uh, unlike some of the games that have been out there that seem like you're running way too fast. Now, what I'm looking for right now are berry bushes. You will see them um, often, and they basically have little red berries on them. You can gather from them berries which are a very quick and easy way of getting some food in the game and because my my uh health is going down i want to get that fairly early on 
Um, yep, morning is coming very nicely. Now, I believe, if I go back into my, I want to hit I for inventory, if I go into my character screen, which is up here, I can move that torch off just by clicking on it, right-click on it, and equip it, or I can salvage it or drop it. Those are kind of my right-click actions. So right now, I'm just going to drag it up there like that. I can just click again. Click, drag. So it's all drag and drop. Pretty nice. If you get your backpack, you have more space there to put things in. I've got 143 wood items so far. But in order to do anything with those, I need some uh, precious, precious. Actually, can I get stone? I think there, there are resource rocks, kind of like uh, 70 side resource rocks. So there'll be these nodes of stone um, that you'll want to look for. And hopefully we can, oh, I think that might be, nope, it's not a berry bush. All right, so let's gonna look around here for a little bit. Um, I'll pause again. Uh, I want this to be a good first impressions and not just me wandering around looking for stuff. Uh, so I'll be right back when I have spotted either flax, which is one of the ingredients you'll need to make um, all, pretty much everything you need needs flax. So it is a it's a plant that you'll see out in fields. Oh, and there is a donkey I think out there in the distance, and then there's one up close. Oh, just that one in the distance. That one was just shadows on the horizon. All right, so I'll be back momentarily when I find some more things. Oh, 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 oh hold on. Flax fiber. So you just hit E. And that will pull that flax fiber. Here we go. So you can pull a couple times off of each plant. Now, as you are... Uh, harvesting resources your skills will go up so everybody has oops not that one turn that one off okay so i've got my skills and achievements so as you play the game as you do things like right now my logger skill has gone up i'm now level worker i've upgraded twice so it basically gives you more um harvesting uh and resources and speed i believe uh it's the chance to chop one additional piece per hit so right now it's a 30% chance it'll go up over time. So hunting, killing, mining, logging, gathering, smithing, building, those are all upgradable skills. So as you do the thing, the sort of, yeah, I want to make sure it's not like a tiger wanting to eat me. So let's go ahead. Oh, you only hit it one, one at a time. I, I'm, I'm used to no, <laughs> to no time there. So give it a little bit of time to do its little cycle. And we'll probably be seeing here as well, very quickly, um, leveling up in that skill. Because the first few levels are pretty easy. That's, that's got to be a donkey. Right. The sounds for the wildlife are really well done. Um, some of the other uh, sounds are a little off. Yep. Zebra! It's a zebra. Awesome. Uh, decent animations on the animals. Liking that. Again, the world itself, quite pretty. I really like it. Um, all right. So, again, I'm going to be looking. I want to find some berry plants. Um, and I want to find some resource rocks. So, let's run up here. Now that we've got some flax. So, let's go into our crafting. And I want to make some linen rope linen rope is your basic uh your basic resource go ahead and craft all that i can't i guess i can't all oh. i don't know if it's one per or two per we'll find out okay so we got let's look at our inventory here and we got one piece fiber off that so looks like let's craft it again oops how many did that take us so we need, we need 10 um, flax fiber to make one piece of rope uh, but that should give us I think enough along with the rock we've got in our hand 
I don't know if that will count. So let's look through here to our simple, we want just a simple ax. So we need two linen ropes and 20 stone. All right, so I will go ahead and gather some more of that material and I'll be back momentarily. I just wanted to show you guys, uh, these are the resource rocks I was mentioning earlier. So we'll gather some stone. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you see, I got, okay, there's that mining level up, apprentice level miner now. So now there's a slightly higher chance of getting two stones on each click. So there's one of those two stoners. Okay. So we can see it's pretty easy to gather resources. Uh, I, I'm crouching right now because it seemed like I was, when I was targeting up here, it was a little hard to hit. So the rocks are a little low. Um, they probably need to make the hitboxes a little easier to, f to uh, target while you're standing. This rock may not be... Uh... There we go. Now, I'm not sure what the stack limit is on items uh, yet, but I think it's probably about a hundred um, from what I've from what I've seen. So let's go into our inventory here. We got 50 rocks, 143 wood. So we just need um, basically four more flax, and we should be good to go. So I'll go grab that and see you guys back here in a moment. Oh boy, do you guys see what I saw? Um, I do not want to, uh, yeah, there it is again. There is no way that I want to get involved, but there's two tigers. I do not want to get involved in any kind of activity that involves Rongo, a tiger, and a rock. Um, I would much rather have Rongo, a tiger, and a trebuchet. That sounds like a better, better mixture of things. So yes, let's. Moving on then, moving on. I've been wandering around a little bit uh, after avoiding the tigers, looking for more flax, and uh, came across some really pretty vistas. So I decided to bring you guys back, uh, show these. And I've also run across a couple of nodes um, against some of these cliff faces that I couldn't bash with my with my rocket that said I needed a pro proper tool for it. So I'm assuming these need to change up their footstep sounds a little bit, I think. Um, so I'm assuming that those are, uh, nodes for, uh, heavier metals. So that we'll have to see once we can, uh, craft a pick of some sort, um, should be able to, at that point, um, get more of that. So right now I'm looking for more flax, uh, cause until I have that flax, I am out of luck. Uh, I'm also getting a little nervous about my food situation. Uh, it's not going down really quickly, but uh, enough so to make me a tad nervous. Um, so we'll uh, we'll take a look at what our options are here. I was hoping to find some of those berries on the side of the ocean, uh, but have not yet seen them. Or let's not go that way. That could be a bad thing. There's one more quick check at our... Can we make the bow itself? No, the bow also requires that linen rope. So, and a spear requires linen rope. So yeah, flax is super important. So if I can find a good collection of flax, I will be a happy, happy man. But, oh, look at this. So here we can see a really good view. View distance is pretty good. There's a couple islands. So this is a chain of islands. And we can use a boat to get between them. And uh, that should be kind of fun when we get to that point. All right. Uh, again, I'm going to go wander. Oh, rock, rocks. And uh, when I come back, hopefully I will have found the elusive flak. There's probably more down there with those tigers. But uh, again, Rongo, tiger, no bueno. All right. I found a little, uh, little stand here in this little valley. Go ahead and gather. Oops. Just gotta break a habit there. 
want to just mash the E key to pick them up as fast as I can. Alright. So we get our flax fiber. Get a good chunk of flax fiber off this plant. This is good. And let's harvest this one. The audio in the game is really good. It's, it's surprising me because the sound of the footsteps is not good. So, so far, it's the only sound I would say that needs to really be changed. Um, that and the sound of the axe swing is kind of a little weak, but um, the uh, walking needs to be, <laughs> definitely needs to be improved. Oh, and a berry bush. Yes, so that's good because, as you can see, my health or my food bar just had just gone into the red, so this should allow us to uh, eat and not be eaten. Let's see. Come on. Oh, well, we get a decent number of berries off that. So let's go into our inventory. Oops. And. We're going to right click and use. So that one gave us, uh, eh, I'm trying to think, two, so that was seven berries. Um, so I'm going to guess the full bar would probably be 10 berries worth. Not too bad. Okay. Let's go into our crafting now. And let's make some more linen rope. So each one takes 10 pieces. We now have two ropes. So that should be enough to give us a spear or an axe. I think I'll go with an axe first. Uh, that will allow me to uh, cut down things a little quicker. So go ahead and we'll craft one of those guys up. And I think for this first kind of look video, what I'd like to do is build a tiny little platform just to kind of show off the uh you know that that part of the world let's go ahead and put this into our main hand and i'll put a rock back over there and the cool thing is let me show you this i can have my torch up and i can swing with my axe at the same time Now, I don't know the benefit of this over um, anything else other than it might be able to mine those nodes that I had seen earlier uh, that I could not mine. So let's go ahead and put our torch away because I don't want that thing. There we go. don't want that thing buzzing away in my ear. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest um, a bit of wood up this way. And... Then I'll we'll go ahead and build a small little platform just to kind of show off the building mechanism, and uh, then we'll stop and do a little think back on the episode. All right, give me one moment. Somehow, I managed to piss off a rhinoceros at night. That was kind of scary. All of a sudden, this horrible sound. I don't know what's going on with it. I want daylight to be here. I've been gathering materials. It uh, whacked me once, uh, evidently, but uh, it looks like they need to improve the... Uh, that's, a, that's a tiger down there. They need to improve the uh, uh, visualization of damage because I didn't actually see a hit or anything, but uh, I, I definitely took damage. So... Yeah, overall, I've been, you know, I've been playing for, you know, another, it's obviously night again, uh, gathering materials so I could show off building, and uh, my biggest impressions, I guess, so far are the the walking sounds and overall speed of walking uh, needs to be tweaked. That definitely is. Um, the models, the the overall look and feel of the game is, is fine for a survival crafting game. Uh, I'm comparing it to things like uh, Rising World, um, Tug, um, 
even in some ways, Seven Days to Die, even though I think Seven Days to Die is, is, is a prettier game. Um, but I think that, uh, yeah, it's got a lot of potential. Uh, I really want to show you guys the building, so we, we're gonna we're definitely going to get to that. Um, I've been hoping to find more. Oh, perfect. Now, this is cool. I have both hands full, and they can still harvest. Now, I was going to talk a little bit more as well about the Renegade uh, Punisher system. So you're neutral by default. If you attack somebody who's neutral, um, then you get bumped up to... Or you get hostile points, basically, and then you can become a Renegade. And if you attack a Renegade, you don't have any downside. Uh, and they also will show, when they approach you, it will show uh, above their names in different colors if they're Renegade, good, bad, you know, or neutral. So you can kind of get an idea if someone's coming at you, if, they're, if they haven't attacked anyone in the last 24 hours, they're probably okay to be around or they just spawn at the game. <laughs> One of the others. Now, the other cool thing is when you hit the F11 key, someone else on the server with me right now, and you can tell he's been logging a lot. Uh, hasn't done any minor mining, but just a little bit of gathering, and his smithing's up there a little bit as well. So, uh, actually, I think I came across where that person was because I came down this valley, was was logging down the valley, and I ran into a bunch of uh, tree stumps. So that was a hint to me that there was somebody else around. So, yeah, let's go into our inventory again here, and let's eat some more berries. I did find another one that I. Had found. I want to see if it, oh, it does give you health back as well. Okay, so this gives you both health and fullness. I guess we'll call it. There we go. Fully, fully healed up. All right. So when morning comes, we will build. And I was hoping to show you guys the bow, but I just have not found the extra flax I needed yet to do that. Um, I'm hoping flax they add a little bit more flax to the game if if it's used in everything then it needs to be a little more common in finding so all right like i said i will be back again i was hoping oh, that was another ore type so i will be back again very soon and i will show you guys uh construction and then uh some last impressions okay be right back The audio system needs a little bit of tweaking as well, as you can hear the sound of the rustling through here. Animation, like I said, on, on the animals is good. Something I noticed here, uh, you get basically five per plant when you're harvesting. You must remain looking directly at the plant oh, during that time, otherwise it, it cancels the operation. And it appears to me that if you do that, you could actually lose the plant sometimes. Um, like it'll take away the five, usually five per, um, and I think it's sometimes you might lose some of the, the, the fibers in the plant. So I think this will get us enough to craft a bow, which I wanted to show you guys as well. The first level bow. There we go. Perfect. So let's go ahead and bring up our crafting menu for that. And we need some more linen rope. So craft that. Perfect. So there's our there's that. Let's go ahead and make a bow. Perfect. And we'll make our first wood arrows. So these are just plain wood arrows. You get two for five pieces of wood. Let's go ahead and give ourselves ten. Ten arrows. I think it should be a good good practice with that. All right, so let's go ahead and bring this up. Bring up our menu. And can we just put it in? Oh, it does equip both hands. Okay, good. So, so now we basically just target our... Oh, equip arrows. Okay, so let's go back here. And we'll take our arrows and put it in the ammo slot. There we go. So we will... Left drag. Can we write anything? Can we zoom? No, not with this bow. I believe that there also is arrow drops. You want to aim a little bit above, a little bit more above than that. Kind of a weak, weak bow. Should have got, should have got the one that ran at me. He's all really. He need help. All right, so let's go ahead and. Uh, 
All right, let's uh, let's try this again. Give ourselves a little bit more up. No. Okay. How about this one who's just staying there? Of course, now he's not staying there. Got him once. Okay. Now, from what I've seen, their animation. Oops. Uh, their, their AI pattern just has them run in a circle. If I can get this guy too. What was that? I don't know. Nope. You gotta run really far above him. Okay. Yeah, that needs a little... I think it needs to be balanced just a tiny bit because that's... Here we go. Let's craft 10, 10 more arrows. And batch craft at least, which is good. I think this was our guy we originally hit. Yeah, I'm watching you. Now, I know that uh, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video, but it's hard to show off a brand new game uh, without first, uh, you know, without trying to cover it as much as possible. So, let's go ahead and Try this guy again. Oh, I thought they just fixed that. They actually had. A, they actually posted in the comments uh, in one of the in one of the um, uh, change logs that they fixed the hitting an arrow because they have their own anti cheat engine. Come on. And they said they fixed hitting a running deer being an issue. All right, let's see. It takes three hits to kill one of these antelope. Got him on the fly. Okay, so then you want to equip your... Um, axe or whatever oops and you get meat hide fat and you also have a chance of getting bone as you level up um, so that you're able to uh, build things a little better so anyway I wanted to show you guys that and now let's go over here I'm gonna go over to this to the shoreline and uh, then we'll, we'll build some stuff. So I'll be right, right, be right there. All right, we're going to build right here. And is this strangely familiar to anyone? Same plant from uh, Seven Days to Die. But here it's just a tree. Not Seven Days to Die. Sorry, it's Stranded Deep. Very similar model of a plant. All right, so we're going to build right up here. Actually, we're going to build on the coast. I think that would be even better. be fantastic. All right. So we're going to bring up our um, the building menu. Your panel, no. Building panel. Okay. So you got your typical uh, um, spin it with a mouse wheel to or rotate it around. When it goes blue, obviously it's good to, good to place. And you can hit tab to go through your different panels. And then, all right, so we're going to place this on here. Now, what you do is, let's find a good spot for it where it'll hopefully build. All right, so let's place it, place it right. E to place. Okay. And it, it kind of, it does then snap, obviously. So we'll snap, place another one. Now, if you want to select a different thing down the list, you just hit that number. So, for example, we got one through nine there. So, for example, seven would be your bamboo wall. And it costs, the costs are limited, shown there as well. So, there's W for wood, S for stone, and I believe B is bone, which you get off of animals. You get a little bit from Bambi, and you get a lot from folks like the rhinoceros. All right, so let's go ahead and build a few more platforms out here. Let's see if I can snap it on the side. I can. I 
have a nice ocean side view here. Now, the way they have decided to do kind of uh, your protection when you're not playing is they have something called a builder's desk or builder's station that you can that you create and that pre protects your buildings when you're not around. And there's different stages um, that you can upgrade those to. At first, uh, they're only good for like four hours and then you upgrade it and it's good for like six hours and then 12 and then 24, I think. Um, as they, uh, oh, I've got an apprentice awesomeness. All right, how are we doing on our wood supplies? Um, running low already. <laughs> All right, let's put a couple walls up just so we can see the walls in action. Oops, and F5 again, and we're gonna pick wooden wall. So these should just snap. Looks like we have to snap to certain kinds of areas, so we'll do a wall there. And a wall there. And let's pick a door jam. So wooden so you gotta look at how it makes so frame for door is number five. We'll place that on there. And then we need a door itself, so that's number six. Place that right inside that. And now we have a wall with a door in it. E to open it up. There we go. We have our first rickety shack. And it is pretty rickety. Now, uh, the other thing is campfires, which you use to cook meat, etc., do have a limited lifetime. Uh, unlike a lot of games where they, you, you place it down and it stays there forever. Um, oh, so you can upgrade things. The wooden door could be upgraded. Not enough material for that. Okay. Uh, let's go back to here. We'll hit tab, go through to our campfire. And that needs, um, what's it? I thought I had enough wood and bone. Why? I should have enough wood and bone. All right, let me gather a little bit more just in case something is off there. And then I'll be right back. All right, this campfire basically just appears to be extremely picky um, when you're placing it. It'll place up here in some areas like that. And then we could go ahead and craft our... Let's go ahead and craft it. And then we can go ahead and add in our roasted meat craft one roasted meat excellent now we got that in our inventory one roasted roasted beast meat um, now like I said you can't pick these up now there is a furnace that you can craft that is used for smelting ores and for uh, your other and for, it can be used for cooking, it can be relit, etc. So that would be another one of the items that you can craft. Um, so we're also going to make, finally, a bed. Not enough materials. I need 100 wood. And I am currently at uh, 58 wood. I'm going to craft, uh, get that wood. I know I keep saying I'm going to get more things. I'm going to get that. What we're going to end the episode with will be a mighty battle against the tiger. And I want to see how the respawn system works, and then we'll wrap things up. All right, so I went ahead and finished up construction. Uh, well, sort of finished up as much as I could. Construction of my little sh my little ram shackle shackle. Put down a bed, which acts as a spawn point. And uh, basically, I want to go out with a bang. I want to tell you a little bit about my thoughts on the game overall, and uh, what my opinion is. First of all. Skybox, beautiful. Overall, like, design of the environment is good. Uh, the ground needs a new texture everywhere. Water needs to be redone, made somewhat translucent. I mean, even if you can't swim into it, I want to be able to see down into it a little better. Um, it just looks a little odd. Uh, s most of the trees are they're okay. They're good enough. I think the skill system is excellent. The ability, uh, let me bring it up here. Bring all these up. 
kind of like I'm getting used to this uh, style. It actually is kind of nice when you, once you get used to it, but it's very different. Um, so the achievements, I mean, the skill system here where you can, as you do things, it does give you more points uh, and gives you benefits. I like that. I think it's a well thought out idea. And I think that it could be implemented in other games quite well. I like it quite a bit. Um, building, I think, was quite well done as well. A large selection of items that are in the game to build different structures. And the building seems pretty logically laid out. Um, now, there are some things like, for example, the, the campfire um, should be a reusable item. I mean, just the idea of having, having to make a new campfire every time you use it is not good. You should just put more wood in the old one and keep going. Otherwise, it becomes very expensive. I think the overall balance of resources needs to be tweaked a bit. Uh, it's very hard to find flax in the game. I think there's some, a patch up here. Um, a little hard to find berries, especially if you're going to be on a crowded server. You're not going to find any of this stuff. Um, so that's going to be a huge issue. Um, I'm not sure how fast things will respawn. But if you could imagine, this is supposed to be 75 people on a server. And if there are 75 people on a server, this place is going to be stripped bare really quick. So it's going to be very tough um, uh, to kind of start the game off. So again, resources need to be balanced a little bit more. So there's some of that rare, rare, rare flax. Uh, audio is the biggest issue. I think the walking sounds are off. It feels... Like you're walking really slow. I think it all comes down to the pace of the sound. They could just increase that pace and it would feel better. Because I think the movement itself is fast enough. Um, just thought on that. And also, it's just very hard to locate anything via sound. Um, Day-night cycle is a little short. I think there should be a little bit more difference between day and night. Because right now, it's like a 50-50 mix. Uh, and nights are very dark. And you can't really do a whole lot. So I would recommend uh, shortening those up quite a bit. Let's just hide in your house overnight. Uh, there is really no big threats out there other than the PvP kind of aspect. And based upon the scarcity of people out of early access, the only thing I got out here to kill me is probably this tiger. And I'm getting no visual feedback. Yeah. Getting no visual feedback that I'm being attacked, so that needs to be addressed as well. Um, also, no, no visual impact that I was doing anything to that tiger. Um, so, you know, in a sea of otherwise quite crowded competition for the survival crafting genre, there's nothing really at right this point to make this game stand out. But I do think that it has potential. Um, Developers seem to be engaged and interested in, in pushing things. So hopefully with the feedback that they'll get from the community, um, from folks like you guys and myself, they will be able to you know, improve some of these items. Um, you know, overall, it, yeah, it's just rough around the edges. I would play it. Yeah, sure. Um, there's just not a lot you're going to be able to do. I mean, basically you got to build a house and then that's a, about it you might take a boat over to another island um, but you're gonna there's not a lot of other stuff to do in the game at this point so um, it's again very very early access this is the first day of release um, not a you know small team good good opportunities a few things to fix it doesn't seem like it's that big a deal a new audio engine would be a big one on top of my list um, but other than that, if you guys like this video, if you thought it helped you out, let me know. Give, leave a note in the comments. Uh, I, 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 you know, I, I'm a big survival crafting game guy, and I hope that my thoughts on this can help you guys make a decision whether to purchase it or not. It is relatively inexpensive, and I will leave details in the links below uh, in my description if you are interested in checking it out yourself. And uh, otherwise, for now, leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, your family, and your survivor grandma that we've all survived the other day after being eaten by a tiger in Out of Reach. Ah, in the water.